his you his first YouTube apology. I can't wait. At least it wasn't somebody dead in the forest. I mean, <laughs> grow the fuck up, Shade. Let's go. Why didn't you apologize to Chris in your acceptance speech? Um, Fair question. I was fogged out by that point. <laughs> it's it, it's 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 all fuzzy. I've reached out to Chris, um, and the mes the message that came back is that uh, he's not ready to talk, and when he is, he will reach out. Um, uh, I'm just gonna put. I'm just gonna be honest and fucking serious. Uh, um. Okay, there you go. Fuck the hat. I'm be. I'm gonna be honest and serious. If it came to me and you punched me in the face or you slapped me in the face or you did anything that embarrassed me. You goddamn right it's going to be on my time when I'm ready to talk to you, especially if you didn't feel like it was okay for you to you to apologize while we were there. Um cuz I feel like it's fake as fuck. Um that's just me being honest and fucking seriously. Uh I I like when I first saw him slap the shit out of Chris Rock, I thought it was a bit. I didn't believe it was true. Until I saw him going fucking hay haywire and talk still talking that shit and everything else. Bruh, if I was Chris Rock, Chris Rock used a lot of restraint in that situation. And that's just being factual. Because if that was like, I don't think he would have felt comfortable doing that to anybody else. I don't think he would have felt comfortable doing that to anybody else because he know his ass would have been sued. He just knew, I feel like he knew that Chris Rock was a soft target. Chris Rock wasn't going to do nothing back, which he makes him even more of a bitch because he did that. So I will, I will say to you, um, Chris, I apologize to you. Uh, my behavior was unacceptable and I'm here whenever you're ready to talk. Um, I, I want to apologize to Chris's mother. I saw an interview that Chris's mother did. And, you know, that was one of the things about that moment. I just didn't realize, and, you know, I wasn't thinking, but how many people got hurt in that moment. So I want to uh, apologize to Chris's mother. I want to apologize to, uh, Chris's family, uh, specifically Tony Rock. You know, we had a great relationship. You know, Tony Rock was my man. Um, and uh, this, this, is, this is probably irreparable. Uh, no shit. <laughs> no shit. Oh, Shay, this is supposed to be a heartfelt moment and everything else. I'm gonna tell you this. If, if, if you hit my sister, any one of my sisters, and and they didn't fuck you up first then it would be on site no no matter what i know that i always tell people to rethink their choices in life and everything else but i would on like like there's certain anger there's certain rage that people don't understand and i think everybody who 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 can watch this can understand like familiar bonds if you actually grew up with somebody if you actually really care about that person you don't really give a fuck what happens to you because you already know you can handle it but if you are but if like your brother or your sister is one of those timid people like my younger sister is and somebody did something to her i don't give a fuck on how close the friends we were prior Oh, it, I, I, we ain't got no more talking. Like, like, like Birdman said, ain't no more talking. Like, I'm being dead serious. Um, I spent the last three months mm -hmm. um, replaying and understanding the nuances and, and the complexities of what happened in, in that moment. Um, and... I'm not going to try to unpack all of that right now, but I can say to 
all of you, there is no part of me that thinks that was the right way to behave in that moment. There's no part of me that thinks that's the optimal way to handle a feeling of disrespect or, or insults. After Jada rolled her eyes, did she tell you to do something? No. Um, it's like, you know, I'm, I made a choice on my own from my own experiences, from my history with Chris. Jada had nothing to do with it. Uh, I'm sorry, babe. Um, Don't. No, no. No, no. No. Cut the bullshit. Cut it. Just cut the bullshit. Cut it. You know why? Because it sounds like you capping right now. Just cut the bullshit. It sounds like you capping. All right? And I'm just going to be honest and fucking serious and everything else. I don't know why you even put this question up there. I guess because you said that you want to answer everybody's questions. I don't know why you put this question in there. I have no fucking idea. But one thing I will tell you is I don't give a flying fuck on what you say when it comes to this, you saw her roll her eyes. And everybody already knew what that rolling eyes meant. If you were this color, everybody already knew what that rolling of the eyes meant. So for you to just sit over there and be like, oh no, she didn't say nothing. She said something. Every black woman saw her say something. Now, now it was up to you to act on that. And you did and you acted accordingly the way that you did. But don't be like, oh, she has no faults. Because she did have faults. I don't give a flying fuck on what anybody says. She does have faults because she put you in a fucked up situation. I'm not saying that you you do deserve all the backlash you get and I'm not even gonna sit over here and cake for that. But you do, honestly, honestly, when they, she started putting all your business out there, when she started when she started saying that her and August Alcina had an entanglement and all that other shit, she started putting y'all relationship out there like that, and then she put you in a really fucked up situation. So, my whole thing is, it's both of y'all fault. But my whole thing is, if she, look, I believe that everybody's relationship is different than anybody else's. I believe that. But my whole thing is, there's a lot of people who have open relationships that cheat on their spouses, but at least they do it in the privacy of their own homes, okay? The privacy of their own homes, and they don't let that shit the fuck out, and y'all decided to do that, be a laughing stock, and she put you in a really fucked up situation. And then after she put you in a fucked up situation, she rolled her eyes, and then you gonna be like, she ain't say shit to you. Don't bullshit a bullshit when it comes to that. and say sorry to my, my kids and, and my family for the heat that I brought on all of us. Um, to all my fellow nominees, you know, this is a community. It's like I won because you, you voted for me. And it, it, it really breaks my heart to have stolen and, and tarnished, tarnished your moment. Um, I can still see Quest Love's eyes, you know, it, it happened on Quest Love's uh, award. And, you know, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry really isn't sufficient. What would you say to the people who looked up to you before the slap or people who expressed that you let them down? Um, so there's two things. One, um, disappointing people is my central trauma. Um, I hate when I let people down. Um, so it, it hurts. Uh, it hurts me psychologically and emotionally to know I didn't live up to uh, people's image and impression of me. And the work I'm trying to do is I am deeply remorseful and I'm trying to be remorseful without being ashamed of myself, right? I'm human and I made 
a mistake and I'm trying not to think of myself as a piece of shit. Um, so I would say to those people, I know it was confusing. I know it was shocking. Um, but I, I promise you, I am uh, deeply devoted and committed to putting light and love and joy into the world. And, you know, if you, if you hang on, I promise we'll be able to be friends again. Is that it? Okay. All right. <clears throat> Look. Here at Shay Too Sweet, we, we, we defend villains here. And I'm going to be honest and serious. That was some bullshit. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Okay? Either you live up to it or either you live up to it or you don't. Okay? And everybody's going to be like, well, Shay, well, he just apologized. My whole thing is that apology. I don't give a fuck on who it impacted at the Oscars. I don't give a fuck on who it impacted uh, Chris Rock's mom. That apology, honestly, honestly, should not have been a question and answer. It literally should have just been to Chris Rock. Because Chris Rock got his ass slapped. Chris Rock was on the receiving end of that ass slappery. Okay? He already apologized to the Oscars. He already apologized to everybody else. There, sh there shouldn't be anybody else that he needs to talk to. I'm sorry. This whole piecemealing of a conversation should not be it. This whole addressing what Jada said should not have been in there. Literally, it should have just been like, hey, yo, I fucked up. And I'm being dead ass honest. I fucked up. I did not mean to. I fucked up. My emotions were high. I was on cloud nine. I was already on edge. And then I heard that. And I, damn, nigga, I, I am sorry. I am sorry from the bottom of my heart. I'm sorry that I laid my hands on you. I'm sorry that I disrespected you as a man. And that's what I am. I'm sorry because I did that. Not this whole half ass you sitting up here looking like fucking, you looking like Mr. Rogers and shit and answering other fucking questions. That's not, that's not the fucking thing that people need to see. Nobody gives a fuck about your feelings, my nigga. You need to just apologize to the person that you hurt. And through that apology, then people will see what your feelings are. I have been on the receiving end of, of being fucked up and I have been on the receiving end of being fucked over. And honestly, the worst thing that I have ever, that I will ever say that really affected me was when they turned the apology back towards themselves. I, that is not a fucking apology for me. Not how it affected you. Not what you've been going through. It ain't about you, my nigga. It's about the person that you fucking hurt. I don't understand. Are you dumb, stupid, or fucking dumb? It ain't about you. You know what? You know what you can make it about you? After, after the apology. After all of this shit. Not about you. Not about Jada. Not about his family. Not about anything. It's literally about the person that you fucking hurt. Don't come at me with this bullshit. That's fucking, that's fucking dumb. I'm sorry. It's far. It's fucking dumb. And you didn't have the foresight to think of it. You didn't have the foresight of, oh, if I put my hands on somebody, you didn't you didn't have it? Oh, so those fifty those fifty years you've been on this earth, you didn't have that? You never thought of that? All that therapy you went through. You never worked through that? Everybody has been at emotional time and emotional place. Everybody. Everybody has. For, for you to make an apology about yourself to the family and then cape the end. Cape the fucking end on other people and then how and what's going on in your life. Like people give a shit. No. It's literally should have been just about Chris Rock and you ended it there. And then you know what every other YouTuber does? They end an apology there. They give a cool off time and then you go back into whatever the fuck you're doing. But, but we don't need to see you apologize and to kind of give a recap on how it affects you. 
Go fuck yourself. Stupid. Anyway, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And like my grandmother always says, so long. Keep the apologies about the, the issues, not about yourself. If it's about yourself, you're just giving a fucking speech and nobody gives a damn. So long. Animals and bitches feeling like the Serengeti on their trail tip. You know I'm always stuck with them with shirties. Hit your mama's crib and bitch when she ain't serving the spaghetti. Hey, shit ain't sweet. You said you got the number one. Well, bitch, you missed cause it ain't me.